first experience of Richard House Hospice? We actually came here to this room um, when it was opened in November, whenever it was, 2000, I think. The, the whole place was so new and exciting. How's Richard House changed since it was first opened and when Katie Joy came here? Uh, the dining room now buzzes with uh, families who are here in the residential or, or coming for the daycare. Um, they're all encouraged to come into the dining room and, and eat together, which is very lovely. When we came into this room, first of all, it was toys and games for young children. But now, as the children have grown up, there's the computer room, there's the teenage room, and Richard House now caters for a whole spread of, of uh, young people, right up to teenage years, which is, is a big change. Heart-wise, it's as it ever was. It always had a wonderful, beating, loving heart. So nothing has changed in that respect. But physically, when we first came to Richard House, um, the uh, residential area was a building site, literally a building site. So there was only the daycare centre and the dining room. It wasn't just the place, it was the people. Um, as soon as we came in, we were almost pounced on to be cared for, looked after. So that applied to us as well as to Katie. The, the memory garden is very dear to me. When we were here a month or so ago, um, we went out and I found the stone in the fountain where Katie Joy's name is written, along with all the other children who have actually died over the years since coming to Richard House. So that's a very, a very lovely place. How did Richard House Hospice make a difference to Katie Joy's life, her parents and your life? This was the only place where Katie was normal. We could come in and just relax and, and it was lovely. Anywhere else, because she had such a complicated position, uh, uh, condition, it, you just couldn't really go anywhere. It was just so complicated. There was so much paraphernalia to carry and no one else could care for her. She was too complicated. Because of Richard Howe, she was only, only needed to be in hospital for a month of her four and a quarter year life, which was a, a, a huge help because hospitals have such a different atmosphere and uh, it just sort of emphasised how ill Katie was when she was in hospital, whereas here she was just normal, as, as, as I say. Could you tell me what's involved being an ambassador for Richard House Hospice? We're um, quite happily, even now, ambassadors without meaning to be. Because any opportunity we get, uh, if it comes up naturally in conversation, we're only, we, you know, we can't thank or praise Richard House enough. I went on a Richard House uh, golf day and it was coming to the end of the evening and nothing had been said about Richard House. So I asked if I could say a few words on behalf of the families and the children. And I did, and uh, somebody came up to me, as I said afterwards, and said that's the best bit of the whole day, because it was from the heart for Richard House and what they were doing. I think people still, uh, when they hear the word hospice, think of death, going there to die. Richard House and the children's hospices are places for the living, these little damaged, life-limited children need to come to the hospice as soon as they possibly can because they start to uh, be encouraged to, to live to their full potential. When you see them running around, and it, it, I, I would just encourage anyone to come because it's a place for the living, it's not for the dying. The, the thing is that uh, it could happen to anybody Nobody is free from the possibility of having somebody in the family who has a disability. I have a little phrase that it, uh, it didn't heal the hurt, but it warmed the heart.